Kang Cho Hwan was imprisoned in North Korea. He escaped and is now a journalist and author in South Korea and an advocate for human rights. This is his perspective. <laughs> He says it's kind of a um, long story, obviously, because he was there for 10 years. And you can read about it in more detail in his book, The Aquariums of Pyongyang. Um, but if you were to compare it to anything that's uh, more commonly studied, it's kind of like Hitler's concentration camps or Stalin's forced labor camps. Um, North Korea is a small country, but in uh, 89 they had 12 uh, different prison camps, as, and then they've added five more since. There are approximately 250,000 people currently imprisoned. Um, and it's not just people who commit crimes against the state. They bring their families in and forcefully imprison them and um, force them to work until they've repented for the crime. Um, in a lot of cases, those end in public executions as well as um, there's no differentiation between the treatment of men and women, so everyone is forced to do the same labor. It's obviously hard to reach the people uh, who are like in, in kind of the heartland of North Korea because they're not very connected to the rest of the world. Um, but there are like businesses in China that are connected to North Korea and we can uh, increase sanctions on those and use those businesses to reach out to people. Additionally, um, as far as the international community goes, there are a lot of issues with um, the way China treats defectors. So they tend to um, force repatriation into North Korea again. So the international community can pressure them to um, stop that, as well as continue to increase economic pressures to help um, decrease human rights violations. Um, finally, that one of the most important things we can do is help send information to people who live in North Korea, information about the outside world and what a different life could be like. He has been um, receiving threats. There was actually an incident at one point where we received an axe in a package to the office with his name on it. Um, but just by nature of his work and by appearing on um, like public broadcasts and things, his name does get out there a lot. But he believes that the work we are doing is important enough that that's a risk he has to take and he has to continue his public appearances. <laughs>